Here are some steps for creating your Pythagorean spiral. I'm starting on just a blank sheet of paper and you should practice so you know what you're doing before you start working on it on the poster. When you practice on paper, do it landscaped so that you have enough room to get a few triangles on there to get the idea of what's going on. You're going to start in the bottom right hand corner and you'll start by drawing about a 12 centimeter segment. Before you lift up your ruler, mark a point at 8 centimeters. I'm just going over this with the marker so that you can see a little bit better where I'm placing the compass so you don't need to do that part on your project. Just do the, just do the pencil constructions. Okay, you're going to open your compass to about thumb width apart. Put the compass point on the 8 centimeter mark and make an arc on each side. We're using the perpendicular bisector construction to form our right angles, so we need a segment to bisect, and that's what we've just created here. Open your compass wider, put the compass point on the intersection of the arc and the segment, make an arc above and below the eight centimeter mark. Move to the other intersection and make the mark above and below again. Then open your compass and we're going to do the copying a segment construction. So you're going to open your compass. Uh, one point will be on the 8 centimeter mark and the other will be at the end of the segment. And then you're going to swing that up above the little X right here. Now you're ready to draw your segment. I'm going to line up the point and each of these. You only actually need one of the intersections um, because you have the points already. Two points are always collinear. The third one just kind of checks to make sure that you're right. If you've got all three of them lined up nicely, it, it should be good. So there's one of my segments. Now this one, when I draw the hypotenuse, I'm starting on the original eight centimeter segment and I go through the intersection of the arc and the segment that I just drew. And I'm going to extend beyond the intersection, about an inch or so, so that you have place for your next construction. Okay, I'm just gonna turn my paper because I like to have my line that I'm working on facing this direction. Going back to about thumb width apart on your compass. So we're starting at this portion of the construction. So the compass point goes on the vertex of the triangle. You make an arc on each side, creating the segment that we're going to bisect. Open the compass wider. Now this could be a continuous arc. I do an arc above and then sort of lift up the pencil leaving the point where it is and then go below because otherwise I'm going to be going through the triangles that I'm making and so then it just kind of gets cluttered and it can get confusing also. I move the compass point to the other arc intersection with the segment and make the arc above and the arc below. Go back to the original eight centimeter segment, open the compass up to do the copy of segment construction. Move the compass point to the intersection at the vertex of the triangle. Make a bar, an arc above this X. I'm 
Now I'm ready to draw the two sides of my triangle. Vertex, lining up the X's. And I start from the vertex of the triangle and go up to the arc. And then when I draw the hypotenuse, I extend beyond the intersection of the segment and the arc to do the next construction. Okay, the third triangle we're going to do the same process exactly as the second triangle because you don't have that original starting point. So compass about thumb width apart. The point goes on the vertex of the triangle, arc on each side, open the compass wider, put the point of the compass on the intersection of the arc and the segment, make an arc above, Make an arc below. Go to the other segment um, and arc intersection, arc above, arc below. Go back to your original eight centimeter segment, copy that length. Put your compass point on the vertex of the triangle. Draw the arc above your X here. And you're gonna line up your vertex, your two intersections. Stop at the arc. Draw the next hypotenuse and extend beyond. Okay, you're going to keep doing this same construction right here until your final triangle overlaps your first triangle about this much. It varies a little bit uh, based on you know your construction and your accuracy, but it should be most of them end up overlapping about right here. So hope this helps. Good luck.